that's how you're going to go about it, right? I did last week, then I did buy also a pen. I'm going to do something. This is, and this is an excretion. This is an excretion. You want to get rid of it. You want to it? Folks, the things that you're going to need to get rid of it are bile salts and mustard. But let's see what bile salts do. I'm going to make a pot. Soup. I know most. Have you ever made chicken soup? Oh, thank you. That's made chicken soup. We got people who cook. You ever make chicken soup? Good guy. How about you? You may never make a chicken soup. And put a chicken in with carrots and celery and salt and pepper. And I put in. You know, I love to put in potatoes. I love potatoes. They should cut them off. But if you make a nice pot of chicken soup and you let it sit after it's cooked. And you come back a few hours later, what do you see on the top of the chicken? You see globs, big globs of fat. Am I right? Big globs of fat. Now, here's the problem. If you eat fat, fat likes fat. Remember, fat forms hydrophobic bonds. They don't like water. Fat likes fat likes fat. Now, don't ever get this wrong. Oil does not, does not, does not digest fat. It does not break down fat. Okay? Here is, I'm going to show you what the problem is. The enzyme that breaks down fat came from the pancreas. It was called pancreatic lipase. You all remember that? Remember, it breaks triglycerides and glycerol and fatty acids. Did we do that the other day? Mm -hmm. Folks? Yeah. You weren't here? You don't remember? Didn't I do the pancreatic enzymes? Yes. How they work? Yeah. Didn't I, Mikey, didn't I do that? How you can make a monoglyceride, right? Yeah. Didn't I do that? And where you can break a triglyceride into what? Three fatty acids yeah. and glycerol. Yes. Okay. So here, I'm pancreatic lipase, and I got this blob of fat in front of me, me and my friends. And the way we can attack the fat is only from the outside. It's going to take me forever to break down that fat. And here's what bile does. You ready? Bile. If you add it, don't do this because it's bitter. Don't want to add bile to your chicken soup. You'll ruin it. But if you add it bile to your chicken soup and stir it, what you come back with is this. You have the bile salts help physically, what? Separate the fat. You want to follow it? They come in and they go, you, you get away, get away, get away, get away. And now, the pancreatic lipase, what? Can work faster. It has more surface area. Does that make sense to everybody? And so, if you don't make bile and you eat a fatty meal, you know what? You're not going to be able to absorb it. It's going to stay in your gut and you're going to feel what? Gazzy, you know, in the lower GI, the bacteria, and this large intestine may break you down. It's horrible. You feel terrible. So, what part of bile does this? It's the bile salts, and here we go. What is the functions? The first one, you're going to learn a few later, is that it causes emulsification. Where you can 
to say it's an emulsifier. What is emulsification? It means it gets in between the fat molecules and what? Helps separate them. You with me? It doesn't digest them, it what? It just separates them. The only one that digests fat is what? Pancreatic lipase. Okay? Got it? So far, so good? All right. You know what happens to the bilirubin? I, I can teach you that now. When the bilirubin teaches some medicine, read the bilirubin. When that gets into the small intestine, this is the small intestine, it gets converted to sterco myelin, which is brown. And that's what makes your feces look brown. Are you, are you with it? Medicine, nursing, those are going to be nursing. One of the things you will be required to do on GI gastrointestinal patients is just check their stools, you know, when they have a bowel movement, you know why? If a patient's stools don't have bile in it, because the bile duct, what remember the duct system, is blocked, maybe by a tumor, maybe blocked by a gallstone, okay? Remember the papilla? Remember where the, 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 the um, ampullar vata goes into the duodenum? Remember that? Sometimes, it, you know what happens to some people? Right where it goes into the duodenum, remember that picture? You, people get a tumor, and it blocks it. And so you can't, what, send bile in? And, yeah, it's terrible. And it, everything backs up, and you'll know it. Because you can't get rid of the Billy, this is some Billy Rubin, and that's going to make you look jaundice. Okay? But what are you looking at in the stools? When you look at the feces, if there's no bile, you know what color the feces will be? They'll be, they call them clay colored. See his shirt? Okay? That's the color. See the shirt? So you, as a nurse, would write what? Patient exhibits clay color stools. Bingo! As soon as the doctor comes in, he says, get him down to radiography. We're going to what? Check his whole duct system. We're going to look for tumors. We're going to look for gallstone. We're going to make clay color stools. Very easy to pick up. Don't you like medicine? Yeah. Makes things interesting, right? Yeah.